Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Today I'm sharing my design project for Calico Collage and this is using a couple of her autumn themed kits. I will link them below if you're interested in what I'm showing. Um, I also wanted to say hello and thank you to Anne, Deb and Mel. Thank you for leaving such wonderful comments on my journal with me video as well as the ladies that um, let me know I had forgotten to put some links and I mixed up a date on my title so thank you so much ladies for that so let me get into the project what I did was I decided to make a few folios um, with the kits uh, starting with one of the uh, gorgeous pages from the kit itself I made a um, really nice folio for ephemera so the purpose of these was to have um, a place to carry your ephemera or to um, you know to hold it on your desk that looks nice and it's all um, really cohesive together so these are some pieces from one of the kits as well as just a little card i had um, coffee stained and i made this vellum envelope and i love how it turned out with the flowers and the, the butterfly etc and then here I've got some pockets. So the center, the furthest left side pocket here has a f additional ephemera pieces. So this one I made like as a little note um, tag. Just write on it. I did some scripted stamp on the cardstock. I added one of the pieces, the postcards from the one of the kits. And then this was so fun to make. So first off, it's the paper clip that I'm making with the little hidden secret pocket and I'll show you that there. Um, I do have a quick tutorial on how to make a bunch of these coming up soon. I know a lot of you said you wanted to see it so I'll share that with you soon. It's so fun to make these you guys. Um, it was not my idea. I did see this from someone else and then this one was so cute as well. I will link her video below. It's like a triple pocket little fold out. I thought it was so cute and it uses up you know any paper you want but I really wanted to use up my book pages so I thought it was so fun and it's so easy to make as well and here again I just added some of the ephemera pieces from these kits now these kits have so much ephemera and so many gorgeous pages I mean you could just make so many projects with it so for this one here as I said I just sort of made ephemera folios so you could get an idea of some of the pieces in here but there are definitely way more in most of the kits um, that you can use in your own projects. I was also thinking these would be fabulous for snail mail or happy mail or pen pal mail. Um, I will be adding um, this probably to my shop, I'm not sure. Here I'm just showing you how you can add this to one of your journal pages. So the folio behind me is um, basically the larger size um, eight and a half by 11 page folded in half that's the size of it so um, you can see how one of your larger journals could fit this and also this entire folio could fit in your journal if you're making um, you know a large journal um, this could fit inside of it as well and then you would have you know a, like a folio inside your journal so here I just added a little envelope or faux envelope that you can journal on and then the two pockets just have additional ephemera again. So these can all be taken out and you can use them in your work or you can use them um, as they are and just you know add them to your journaling or your scrapbooking or your planning, etc. And again, more pieces in the top. I'm really into making like folios and snail mail right now, you guys. This also will be added to my snail mail ideas playlist if you haven't seen that I will link that below and also just to let you know that um, I will be sharing another video soon with uh, snail mail ideas that have been coming in I'm so happy with those um, those videos you guys it's just so many ideas I'm getting from all you creative ladies so thank you for that so the next little folio um, again not my idea I did use some stickles on the uh, leaf here I thought it was so cute and I just layered the cover Again, this you can put inside a journal page if you wanted to, um, for the larger ones as well. And this one, um, the tutorial, I believe is G. Kerr. She has a tutorial on how to make these. I will link it below. And um, I did my kind of own version of where I added pockets and stuff, but it's basically 
the same idea. Um, I love also anything to do with using eight and a half by 11 sheets and making them into something different. So I thought this one was such a fun idea to do. And you can see it's just got lots of flip outs and pockets and I love all that little stuff. Again, just using the digitals from Calico Collage and some paper pads that I had as well that were fall related and fall themed. I like the little pocket here. And then I added that other little pocket in the front, the little top spot here. And um, again, you could do this kind of both sides. I was thinking you could flip it to the left and then also add pages to the right. So anyways, that was so fun to make. And then the next one I'm showing you is a tutorial from Genevieve Designs. And this is meant to go inside a traveler's notebook, uh, you know, like to hold your ephemera as well. Or again, it could just be um, on its own and you can just add pieces to it. So as you can see, you can just add a lot of ephemera pieces to these file folders. I have closed them up and they fit nicely inside the pocket here. There is also space for journaling and this is a Tim Holtz bingo card and then another little tuck spot at the top, a little pocket. So all these, again, you can either journal in the back of them or just use them to add your own ephemera if you're traveling or you, know, you need to carry something and you want it to look nice. So here I've got just some additional pieces in this pocket and we've got another pocket just behind it as well. Now these pockets I stitched into the cover and um, but you can still add the whole thing if you wanted to to your traveler's notebook. It's a, for a standard size traveler's notebook or you could just as I said just you know have it on its own and add your own pieces to it. Here I've done a flip up flip down again for a little bit of journaling or secret stashing away of things. And then the back again has another little pocket with some additional fun. So I hope you guys enjoy the share. Um, I will have all the videos I mentioned linked below as well as the Calico Collage kit that I've used or kits because I've used a few. Um, as always, questions, comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe. Check out my playlist for snail mail ideas. I am so loving that right now and hopefully um, you guys will get some more creative ideas from that as well. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to know when my next videos are coming up, as well as leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, and thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.